a starving child who was left for dead by his parents who thought he was a witch, has been pictured full of joy, as he set off for for his first day at school. Photographs of the little boy known as Hope broke the world's hearts last year, after a charity worker found him emaciated and riddled with worms after being abandoned. Having made a miraculous recovery, the now healthy-looking youngster, set off to embark on his education in a strapping red outfit. The then two-year-old Nigerian boy was found in a shocking state last year. Hope was abandoned by his family because they thought he was a witch and was found in the streets by Anja Ringren Loven, a Danish woman living in Africa, in January 2016, almost a year onto the day. She posted amazing before and after photographs of her holding a water bottle up to the boy's mouth. In an emotional Facebook post, she wrote, On the 30th of January 2016 I went on a rescue mission with David Emmanuel Amem, Nsidibok and I Nigerian team, a rescue mission that went viral. And today it's exactly one year ago the world came to know a young little boy called Hope. This week Hope will start school, back in January, Ms. Loven found the boy after he spent eight months fending for himself and living off scraps. She bent down and gently began feeding him and giving him water from a bottle. She then wrapped up the disorientated toddler in a blanket and took him to the nearest hospital for treatment. When Hope reached the hospital, he was given medication to remove the worms from his stomach and daily blood transfusions to incorporate more red blood cells into his body, Ms. Lovent said, and two days after the aid worker asked for the community's help with Hope's costly medical bills. She received more than $1 million in donations from around the world. Just eight weeks later, Hope was unrecognizable having gained weight and pictured smiling and playing with other children. Ms. Lovin is the founder of African Children's Aid Education and Development Foundation, which she created three years ago to help children who have been labeled witches and therefore neglected or even killed by the members of their community. Ms. Lovin runs a children's center where the youngsters she saves live and receives medical care, food and schooling. She and her husband, David Emmanuel Amen, began building their own orphanage. In late January last year, they regularly share posts of their progress on social media and have garnered a huge following.